Hey everyone, this is Chuck, and I'm checking in with a quick little words of wisdom, and it is this. Don't drink the insect poop tea. Now, we got this question about whether you can drink insect frass tea, and you don't want to do it. It will not be good for you, and we don't recommend it, so don't do it. But the question probably came up honestly, and it probably happened with a game of telephone, maybe. Bad thing of someone was talking about edible insects, someone then was talking about sustainability, someone brought up insect frass tea, and maybe someone stumbled into the conversation at the wrong time. So, the question came up in an event of whether you can drink insect frass tea, and that is not the thing. Insect frass, in case you're wondering, is basically bug poop. So you don't want to be drinking that. But what you can do is actually use it as a fertilizer. Now, a good rule of thumb, if you're going to be using it as a dry fertilizer, you can sprinkle it on top of the soil. That definitely works. We really recommend that you mix it in with the soil. And you can do that with about one cup to one cubic foot of soil. And that's about one to three percent of a ratio mix there. And it's actually great for the soil. It gives it different nutrients. And that's because it's actually made from plant material. And that can be good for actually helping the plant uh, fight off disease pathogens or even help create that immune response and even fight off, you know, root eating uh, nematodes even. And a lot of it comes from because there's chitin in that frass along with other nutrients. So there's a lot of good things that can be used for it. But getting down to it, what about the insect frass tea? Now that's another way to actually fertilize your plants. But what you have to do is you have to kind of steep it. So what you want to do is if you have a gallon milk jug or if you have a bucket that can be filled with water, you do about one gallon of just normal water, dechlorinated, don't want to add any other nutrients in there, but then you want to add in about half a cup of insect frass. And that can be cricket frass, worm frass, mealworm frass, your choice, but insect frass, about half a cup, mix it on in and let it sit for about two hours to five hours and you're going to be golden. You could leave it up there to actually uh, steep for about two days. But what you're gonna do is after that's all mixed in, you can actually pour that directly onto the plants. It'll be great form, a great natural organic fertilizer. And if you have any extra, you can store it in your fridge for up to a week. And we just wanna do a quick video on what exactly insect frass is and what insect frass tea is because obviously not everyone knew, but now you do. So I hope you have a great day and we'll talk with you soon.